Hi, good afternoon folks, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2019 on a 69 plate. Uh, it is the Peugeot Boxer. Uh, this is the later 2.2 uh, HDI engine, Euro 6 obviously. It is in H3, uh, sorry, uh, L3 H2 format, so long wheelbase high roof format. This is a one keeper from new vehicle. It has covered a warranted 54,000 miles. And I have to say it's in pretty good all round condition really. Um, obviously it's got chapter eight markings on it at the moment. Um, they may or may not be any good to you, but they are, are being sold with the vehicle. Uh, you do have some LED lights front and rear of the vehicle up top, the old amber LEDs, and obviously the chapter eight markings on the back end of it as well. So as I say, one keeper from new, 54,000 warranted miles, overall good condition. Uh, the purpose of this video is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the van so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. The vast majority of our customers will actually buy having watched this video and either come and collect or get the vehicle delivered out to you. So there's a couple of different options for you to think about there. Now, as I say, overall pretty good condition. There's a few minor things, a few couple of jobs we've still got to do on it. But let me throw, run you through it and then you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. So as I say, up here on the roof, roof is looking overall pretty good condition. Now it snowed last night, so I'm battling the elements a little bit today. Um, but um, as you can see, roof is all looking pretty good. You've got the fancy LED uh, light uh, up there on the front of it. You've got another one on the back. You do have a roof vent in this van as well. Coming down onto your windscreen. Yes, there's bits of, if you're wondering what the white stuff is, it's, it's obviously snow. Yeah, so... Uh, Front windscreen, good overall condition. Uh, no major stone chips or cracks to point out to you, all pretty good. Coming down onto your bonnet. The bonnet is in good overall condition. Now there is um, a little denty mark there on the bonnet at the moment. Um, don't know, my dent man may be able to make it look better. He may not be able to look, make, make it look better, but it is there, okay? Coming down to your front of the front bumper, your front grills, etc., all in pretty good overall condition passenger side headlamp unit is all good passenger side front bumper corner in good overall condition you have a minor scratch in the plastic there but there's no heavy scuffing on it and if we look down the side profile of the van from this angle uh, again no major dents or dings to point out to you a couple of things to notice even on a pretty dull and shitty day like today there is still a nice um, reflection in the paintwork so it shows you that it's not dull and um, unloved Coming around to the driver's side, driver's side headlamps all good, driver's side front bumper corner, again, pretty good, but there is a scuff on it here, okay? So you've got a scuff on the plastics there. You have a minor scuff on the paintwork there, okay? To be frank with you, those bumper corners, I think on eBay, aren't massive money. The last time we had to buy some 50, 60 quid, something like that. That's the beauty of them. They do come as a separate item. Now, looking down the driver's side of the vehicle, again, take note of the reflection in the paintwork. Yes, the yellow um, markings are uh, all part of the whole Chapter 8 scheme that some companies have to run nowadays. Uh, you can peel it off if you want to, um, but they are there at the moment, okay? Your passenger's, oh, sorry, driver's side front wing, other than the mark that we've already pointed out to you, is pretty good driver's side mirror unit with integrated indicator all looking pretty good as well upper and lower mirrors are good driver's side door glass that's all looking good driver's side door itself in overall good condition as well your door lock and handle are in good order have a look at your door edges those are also in good order as well yes i know it's wet but we have to deal with the card that uh Life deals us, don't we, when it comes to photographing and videoing in the UK in the winter. Have a look at your lower sills, those are in good condition. Your black plastic protective strips down the side of it are also in good order. Your mid quarter, as you can see there, all looking pretty good as well. Rear quarter on this side, again, overall good condition. Uh, we have a small mark here. Again, nothing major. Oh, we've forgotten the wheels and tyres, haven't we? So steel wheel, factory steel wheel on the front here. We have a budget tyre. That tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth, as you can see there. Where we are with tyres, anything less than three millimetres we replace, the legal limit being 1.6. 
the rear steel wheel. Again, element of corrosion on that is that you can see on the front one as well. We've got a Falcon tire there, which is like a mid-range tire. That tire, pretty good tire tread direct. Tire tread depth on there as well. Uh, I think it's got an all-season tire on that one. And then looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, again, nice little reflection. Note that, yeah. Happy days. Rear light unit this side, that's all good. Now rear bumper corners there is some damage here okay uh, we will investigate and see what we can do reference this okay but at the moment we have damage to the plastic here and we have a damage on the bumper corner now the bumper corner is going to get need to get replaced okay so we will have to do that so assume that that will be done and we'll find out how much that big plastic piece is there if that's not stupid money we'll get that done as well light unit as i say is all good and then just coming around to the back of the vehicle Rear doors, rear barn doors, as you can see, good overall condition. Um, now there are a couple, I mean, obviously it's got chapter eight on it, so it's very difficult, isn't it? To see what's going on behind chapter eight. Um, there are a couple of things. So door handle and lock all looking good. Your door edges are in overall good condition as well. I suspect you have a small dent there. Um, and then we have, or do believe, we've got a little bit of a dent here on the door and that little bit of trim is loose there. That's easily enough done. I think that's just a couple of clips to be fair. Your rear bumper isn't without having seen a little bit of action, but is, is, is in, you know, overall average, sort of average to good condition. We have a tow bar with twin electrics. <coughs> um, and then opening up the van, now it did come in with ply lining that had done a job and so we decided to rip it out okay um looking up here so let's have a look at your most important bits air vent in the roof the roof itself overall good condition bulkhead is a little bit manky we might have a spare bulkhead if not it's really not a major problem to unbolt that and get it repainted to be honest with you um sometimes you get a bit of uh the, the paint finish on the bulkhead isn't the best, to be quite frank with you. Um, so um, it isn't the first one we've ever seen that's gone a bit mank. Flooring, as you can see, is all pretty good. And have a look at your arches. Those are in good condition as well. The sides of the van are in good condition because obviously it's had ply lining in it. We will sell it with a fresh ply lining kit fitted to it, okay? There is one due to be fitted to it on Wednesday. So assume by the time you buy this van that it will have a nice fresh ply lining kit fitted to it. Rear doors, again, overall, not to too bad condition. There are signs of wear and tear on them, but nothing major. Obviously these, these get covered by ply lining anyway. And then bumper corners this side, again, they've seen a little bit of action. These aren't um, broken like they are on the other side though, but there are some minor scuffs on them. And then just looking down the passenger side of the vehicle from this angle, pretty good overall condition. We have a couple of touch-ins here that are required, which we will, what's that dirt now? Touch-ins, oh no, that one's dirt. So a couple of minor touch-ins there, which will get sorted out on it. Again, factory steel wheel, you've got an all season tire on the back of this one, so that matches the axle on the other side, another Falcon version of those. That tire has plenty of tire tread depth. And then rear core to this side, good overall condition. Lower arches and stuff all good. Getting down low, looking at your sills. Again, good overall condition. You always have always have a little bit of chipping up and stuff uh, around about where your, uh, obviously your sill is on the sliding door. Um, but overall, not a too bad condition, is it? Sliding door, as you can see, all looking pretty good. Door handles this side. All looking good. If we open up sliding door, slides back nicely, holds into place. Again, just giving you another viewpoint of the inside of the van from this angle. Um, and again, just reiterating, it will have a fresh ply lining kit fitted to it prior to sale. Bulkhead, as you can see, um, it's just losing a little bit of its texture on the, not texture, paint, let's face it, on it. So that will get sorted out on it as well. Uh, and then top of your roof up here is all good. Uh, door glass, all good. 
passenger side door in overall good condition. Your mirror units, upper and lower, are good. Integrated indicators are all good as well. And then your passenger front wings all looking good as well. Steel wheel on the front here is a, I think that's another Falcon tire, I believe it is. Tire tread depth on there, all looking pretty good. Um, small element of corrosion to your steel wheel, as you can see. Opening up the van and your door cards are in good overall condition. Here is your bonnet release. I'll show you under there in a second. Have a look at your door shuts. These are in clean, tidy condition as well. Entry seals and plastics are in good order. Here is your fuel filler and add blue. And then inside your passenger seat trim, as you can see, is in good overall condition, as is the bulkhead and your headlining. Flooring inside this van is actually in pretty good nick, to be fair. Let's just move your paper mats out of the way so you don't think I'm hiding anything. But there you can see all good and look at that driver side floor because generally on these things they're made of paper mache and you've got a big footprint through the plastics by now but all looking good glove box dashboard fascia all neat and tidy i'll show you the driver's side in a second but as we walk around and it's starting to sleep Lovely jubbly, having a look under the bonnet yes all the white stuff is sleety snow left over from last night but hopefully you can see clean and tidy air boxes down there oil filler there dipstick there uh coolant is there correct color coolant for citron and there's no contamination in it uh, brake fluid and windscreen washer around there as well but as you can see looks neat and tidy doesn't it and then driver's side driver's side door card let's move that out of the way so door card as you can see all good electric windows and mirrors entry seals and plastics are in good overall condition your door shuts are nice and clean and tidy and your as i say driver's side floors all looking neat as well handle obviously that pokes you on your bum every time you get in and out of these bloody things but uh yep and then um, so Produced it himself. I'm not sure actually. Just fire it up. So, telling us we've left the rear doors open at the moment. Um, so, your steering wheel. Still most of your factory texture left on there, so that's all pretty neat and tidy. We have volume and search controls. Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music. You've got cruise control over here. Lights on your left hand stalk, wipers on your right hand stalk six-speed manual gearbox we have storage in here with usb power down there as well uh, heated mirrors central locking hazard warning lights automatic stability or electronic stability program whatever you want to call it you got 12 volt power there as well the blower fans as you can hear are working fine we as i say we have dab AF, am fm uh, bluetooth telephone bluetooth music and navigation on the head system there as well six-speed manual gearbox um, and it's all pretty neat and tidy to be fair uh, and there we go so considering um chapter eight and all of that on it it's not been worked to death that's for sure um and that my friends is about it so there are 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website our website is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country offering you nationwide delivery part exchange and finance feel free to give me a call 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com now if you're worried about who you're buying off check out our reputation online we have reviews on google facebook instagram linkedin our own website i think that's about it basically before I get too wet that is about it now if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest videos and our latest purchases feel free to like and subscribe folk like and subscribe thanks for watching and speak to you later